Now I'll show you how to load paper on the 3800. The first thing you want to do is uh, walk over to the touch screen and open the paper menu. On the touch screen at the very bottom you'll see a paper menu icon. So press that to open up the paper menu. And then on the paper menu you'll see rolls one and two. And press you want to press the load button for the roll you want to load. So I'm going to press load for roll one and it will start showing you a tutorial on how to replace the paper. Then what you do is you you grab the handle on the drawer and squeeze the handle inside and then pull the drawer open. And if you already had a, a paper roll in there previously you'll have the empty core that you need to remove. Uh, the first thing you want to do is Grab the handle on the right side of the roll, the blue handle, and pull up and slide the spindle all the way to the far right. And then before you can remove the core, you need to raise up the lock lever on the left side. Now you should be able to release the core and then set that off to the side. Now we're going to load the new roll into the, the top drawer. Just a reminder that you want to make sure that the blue lock lever is all the way up and you have this, this right side blue spindle all the way to the far right. When you go to load your paper, you want the paper to load from the bottom and towards you. And when you go to load the roll, I usually load the far left side of the roll onto the spindle first. And then you can rest the right side onto the black cover inside the drawer. And then grab the blue handle on the right side and push the spindle into the, the roll and it should lift it up and grab the roll. Make sure it's all the way flush with the roll. And now you'll see that there's some tape on the roll. Sometimes you can peel these off, but a lot of times you might have to cut through the tape to get it off of there. So I recommend having a, a box knife so that you can cut through the tape. Now that we cut the tape, it's, it's recommended that you trim the outer layer of the roll off. That, that way you have a clean edge when the paper goes to feed. So if you grab the roll and pull about 24 inches of the paper over the top of the drawer, You'll notice there's a, a cutting blade icon on the top. There's a cutting edge on the drawer that you can use to trim the paper. And I recommend just kind of holding on to the edge of the paper as you cut. Uh, now that we got the clean edge cut, go ahead and lower down the lock lever on the spindle. And you want to turn the roll so that the leading edge of the paper is on the bottom. So now we're going to feed the paper into the drawer. You'll see there's a white arrow inside here where you want the paper to slide underneath this black cover. So if you slide the roll, the paper through that cover here, it'll, it'll grab it. And then you can go ahead and close the drawer. Now back on the touch screen, you'll see there's a, it'll show rolls one and two. And here you can make changes to the type of paper or tell it the length of the roll. So if you tap this tile for roll one, then you can choose the different paper types. The roll that I just loaded is a, a standard 20 pound bond paper. So we consider that plain paper. And then you can also put in the length of the roll. So if you tap that, you can go here and type in custom and type in 500 feet. And I'll hit done. And now we can hit finish check. Now the printer's going to 
scan the, the width of the roll and detect how wide the roll is and then make sure that the paper is nice and straight. Okay, we got the green check mark. The roll is successfully loaded. Now I'm going to go ahead and load another roll into the second drawer. So it's the same process. We'll go to the paper menu and you'll see roll two. You might have to scroll up a little bit, but below the section where it says roll two, there's a load button. It's important that you always go through this touch screen before you open the drawer. Um, for example, right now, roll one is staged through the printer. So if you open the drawer, it could cause some paper to jam. So it's always important to go through this menu and hit load first. And this will park the, the first roll so that you can open the second drawer. Another thing to notice is this white lock symbol. Um, if you see that on the drawer that you're trying to load, that's an indicator not to open the drawer. So it looks like uh, roll two is ready to open. So just grab the handle, squeeze, squeeze and pull the drawer out. I already have this roll um, installed. It's the same process. You, you take the lead edge of that roll and feed it up through the cover where that white arrow is. You might have to guide the paper through this black cover just a little bit. Then once it grabs the paper, you can close the drawer. And back on the touch screen, you can make changes like we did on the first roll. Um, we can change the paper type if you tap that tile. And we're, we already have it set to plain paper. And we can put in the length here. And then we'll hit finish check. That roll two is successfully loaded and you're ready to start printing. The next thing I'll go over is loading inks into the printer. The printer will let you know when the ink is low or when the ink is out. If you want to check the ink levels, you can press this button that says supplies. And this will show your ink cartridges. You have cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. Looks like our magenta ink cartridge is getting a little low. On the right hand side, it'll tell you the percentages of ink left. So the magenta is down to 10% remaining. If the printer is asking for ink and it's completely out, you can go ahead and just pop out the cartridge and put in a new one. Um, but for demonstration, I'll show you there's a replace ink cartridge here. And it gives you a tutorial on the touch screen on how to replace the ink, but it's pretty simple. You just go to the ink cartridge and press it in, and then when you let go, it'll, it'll pop out the cartridge. So this is your ink cartridge. It'll come in a, an HP labeled box, so you, you take it out of that box, and then this is the cartridge that's inside. It's an eco-friendly, recyclable cartridge. They're 500 milliliters each. And when you go to put in the new ink, you just put it in the slot and then push it in until it clicks. And then it'll hold on to it. And then on the back on the touch screen, you hit the continue button. It'll check the status of the ink cartridge and read how much ink is in the cartridge. Successfully loaded. Uh, the next thing I would like to show you is how to replace the maintenance cartridge. It, this, these printers have a maintenance cartridge that collects the dirty ink when it services the heads and cleans the nozzles. Eventually this maintenance cartridge will get full and it will give you a warning when it's starting to get low. Uh, so when you get that warning, just give us a call and we'll send you out a new maintenance cartridge. You can check the maintenance cartridge by going to the supplies menu and tapping the maintenance cartridge. 
tab at the top right corner. So the one that we have in there now has 35% remaining. So I'll go ahead and we'll hit replace so I can show you how to remove the cartridge. They do recommend you wear some gloves. Um, it's possible to get some ink on your hands. Um, usually it's not a problem, but just in case you might put some gloves on. But I'm going to hit start and it'll start walking you through the process. So the maintenance cartridge is on the far left side of the printer. There's a cover here that you open up. And this is the cartridge. You reach in there and this will just pull out. This is your maintenance cartridge. This is what wipes and cleans the nozzles. And this is also where the print heads um, are capped when the printer's not in use. Be careful not to tilt this too much. Um, it, it could possibly leak some ink, so just keep it level and the new maintenance cartridge will have a bag that you can put this in and then you can dispose of it, the old one. The new one, um, pretty simple, you just slide it into the tray in the back and then close the door and then it'll automatically read the new cartridge.